good afternoon friends today we see the problem on development of surfaces okay uh, development of surfaces is the first topic uh, development of surfaces is the first topic in mechanical working drawing first we see what is been by development of surfaces uh, this is the introduction part uh, we take first one introductory problem now uh, with help of one example we see how the development of uh, uh, we means we are able to understand what is meant by development of surfaces see this object uh, name of this object is what is the name of this object name of this object is square prism okay square prism why prism because uh, bottom uh, face and top face both are same both are square so this is a square prism these are the four faces one two three four these are the four faces on this prism okay now with help of scissor if we cut this prism from all edges now with help of scissor we cut this uh, prism then we get this type of figure this type of figure is called as development of lateral surfaces of square prism with help of square prism we cut this edge and this edge and we unwound this all faces of this vertical square prism then we get this type of figure this is called as development of lateral surfaces of vertical square prism if we take a uh, one plain paper and we wound that plain paper around a square prism and after that we wrap that paper around the square prism and after that we open that paper on a plain sheet then we get this type of figure that figure is called as development of lateral surfaces okay now again we uh, you see this figure this is one rectangular face this is second third fourth this is bottom square this is top square now again we wound this all faces then we get original solid okay so from this solid from this figure you are able to understand what is mean by development of lateral surfaces in this first topic we have to see development of lateral surfaces of various solid various solid means prism pyramid cylinder cone cube these are the various solid we have to draw development means we have to develop the lateral surfaces of various solid that is the our objective of this first chapter of mechanical working drawing this is core subject of our mechanical branch okay and in this core subject we have to see six different topics out of that this is a first topic and we start the introductory session of this first topic okay so aapko bhi ye problem aise development of surface ka idea a chuka hoga again we go ahead something now wait suppose this is a observer here this observer is exactly 90 degree okay for front view for top view and for side view 
while drawing all these three views observer should be exactly at 90 degree to that face here observer is exactly 90 degree to this face okay while drawing this view observer from this direction exactly at 90 degree while drawing this view also observer is exactly at 90 degree okay so so we draw this uh, orthogonal views okay this is a pictorial view we draw front view we draw top view okay then uh, we we have to draw development and here they are drawing development of that vertical square prism okay and this this is a rotate means uh, whatever height of that prism that much the height of that development okay so these are the four faces and after that we draw development this is a bottom face and this is a top face that is a square type faces and this uh, figure is called as development so this is our objective to draw this development suppose take this solid okay now again i will show this suppose this is a solid this is a hexagonal pyramid here a hexagonal prism sorry this is a hexagonal prism uh, we have to means again with help of scissor we cut this two edges if we join all these two edges we get original solid this solid we see this solid this solid is called as wait this solid is a hexagonal prism because top face is hexagon bottom face is also hexagon both top and bottom faces surfaces are parallel to each other so this is called as hexagonal prism and these are the six faces okay now we go ahead now there are two methods parallel line method and a radi a radial line method which objects are come in parallel line method and which objects are come in radial line method that we have to see now what is meant by parallel line method and what is meant by radi radial line method that we see okay now these are the three objects we first see the parallel line method uh, and then give the name of this three object what is the name of uh, this three object this is a parallel line method in development of lateral surfaces this first uh, solid we have to see the name of this solid is cylinder we know cylinder in first semester in second semester of first year we have seen the projection of solid section of solid now we are now in the position that we are able to identify the various solids okay so this first solid is called as this first solid is called as cylinder this yellow color solid is called as cube and this solid is called as hexagonal prism okay this is parallel line method now uh, what is mean by parallel line method that we see this is a cube this is a prism hexagonal prism and this is cylinder okay that we have seen they are given the naming now what is mean by radial line method now these are the three objects wait these are the three objects what is the name of this three object this this is a cone this is a cap type structure of cone type structure ice cream cone type structure this is called as cone 
this is called as hexagonal pyramid this is called as square pyramid we have to draw development of this three solid radial line method parallel line method which object cube prism cylinder for radial line method square square pyramid hexagonal pyramid cone we have to draw this okay now this is pyramid this is pyramid this is square pyramid this is hexagonal pyramid this is a cone okay now we go again to the ahead for parallel line method we again shift to parallel line method what is the difference between parallel line method and the radial line method while drawing development of parallel line method object and radial line method object which precaution we have to take that we see this is a parallel line method object this is what this is a hexagonal prism draw the development of this object with help of draw the development of this object with help of parallel line method okay if we open this hexagonal prism we get development like this we get this six rectangle 1 2 3 4 5 6 in development of lateral surfaces this is called as parallel line method understood we understood this now how to draw development this is radial line method this is hexagonal pyramid this is hexagonal prism in hexagonal pyramid we get this one triangle second third fourth fifth six like this we have to draw development of radial object and here like this we have to draw development of parallel line method okay understood this, this is called as unfolding unfolding means what unfolding means what means development means unfolding unwound that is called as unfolding okay and next we see again this two object this two object we have to see this is a cylinder okay the development of cylinder is draw with help of parallel line method development of cylinder is draw with help of parallel line method this is the development of cylinder we get this big rectangle this is the development of cylinder okay now radial line method this is the development of this cone correct we get this sector sector of a circle this is the development of lateral surface of cone this is a rolling action okay now uh, this is a square prism you observe this square prism in first year in both semester you are drawn the front view top view and side view of this object assume the dimension and try to draw in your sketchbook perceive front view top view side view of this object i give 2 to 3 minutes to you and you are directed to complete front view top view and side view of this hexagonal prism okay
These are the inclined faces. This is also inclined face. Get that much distance from the vertical plane. This is a cutting view, and they have cut the section. Okay. This is the hexagonal pyramid is cut, and this is the development of. Uh, section of solid of hexagonal pyramid m n is the section through which that hexagonal pyramid is cut by 45 degree with horizontal axis we see all these problems in detail just here we see the introduction uh, so this figure is called as development and draw the dark line faint line in a proper way okay this is a a a a this uh, this is a stretch out line that is called as stretch out line i think so you are able to understand that distance is 60 60 60 into 6 means 360 mm that stretch out line distance is 360 mm okay stretch out line so this height is 150 mm and then uh, each Total is 360. 150 mm by 360 mm total is the height. Uh, draw 60 mm uh, dividation. Each 60 mm uh, rectangle you have to draw. Likewise, six rectangle you have to draw. Okay. I think so. You are able to understand this. 60 mm by 60 mm. These are the various rectangles. Then uh, project that all that points. Okay. Now we will stop up to this. Again, we revise whatever we have learned up to this. We uh, revise. Here, firstly, we see uh, this solid. Okay. This solid is called as square prism. Square prism. Okay. this solid is called as vertical square prism with help of scissor uh, we cut the faces and we stretch out that we unfold that and whatever figure with help of suppose assume with help of scissor we cut the edge of that square prism and if we stretch out then we get one figure that figure is called as development of lateral surfaces here we get the four rectangles that are the four faces that are the four faces this is first this is second this is third this is fourth this is the bottom face this is the top face okay again we fold again we bound then we get the original solid tumhala ya figure modun development of lateral surface is a concept kala kisi okay you are able to understood the concept of development of lateral surface what is our objective to draw development development phase is what unwound stretch out unfold that is called as development of lateral surfaces of 
various solid okay great here this is observer here this observer is observing this square prism this observer is exactly at 90 degree to this face then what you are able to see this is a square correct while drawing this view observer should be exactly at 90 degree while drawing this view observer should be exactly at 90 degree to this face while drawing side view observer should be exactly at 90 degree from this side so this is a orthogonal views these two views are perpendicular to each other this is a pictorial view okay now there are various methods parallel line method radial line method here now here this face is unfold this face is unfold again whatever that four bigger faces that also unwound and if we rotate this development this is called as development of lateral surfaces development of lateral surfaces this one face second third fourth these are the four big faces this is a top face this is a bottom face this is a top face this is bottom face of vertical square prism okay Again, we see there are two types of um, methods radial line method this is a development of hexagonal prism okay this is hexagonal prism these are the six solid again we have seen there are two methods parallel line method and radial line method in parallel line method there are three objects if we see this this is a parallel line method this object is cube this object is prism this object is cylinder okay we have to draw development of this various object this is a radial line method this is a pyramid pyramid cone this is a square pyramid this is a hexagonal pyramid okay we have to draw development of lateral surfaces of various solid this is the development of by parallel line method object this is development of lateral line and development of radial line method objects this is unfolding from this concept i think you are able to understand introduction of development of lateral surfaces okay now uh, this is called as development of lateral surfaces we just uh, see this and try to write down two to three lines and try to draw this figure try to draw this figure just uh, rough a figure you have to draw what is mean by development of lateral surface and what is mean by unfolding you have to draw this only okay I will take two to three minutes for this then we will stop and we will conclude this lecture Thank you.
stop now my dear students we will stop now we will revise in next lecture and again drawing next figures okay thank you